And, and with that, uh, I'm curious, you mentioned how sort of this is the U.S. sort of coming to the forefront and, and being accountable, if you will. How do you think the news of Ryan and the news last week with Madison, how do you think, or, or what effect, I guess is a better way to put it, do you think that might help on the way people, but what effect does it have on the way people outside the country might look at you as a sort of now, if at all? You know, I, I, I don't, those are really, really difficult questions um, because it's gonna kind of depend on how the media spins it, <laughs> to be totally honest. Like, that's, that's kind of the truth in today's day and age. Um, and again, like I, like I personally do feel like we're, these are, these are harsh sentences. These are, these are what we've been told since we were junior team athletes, that if you have, if, if you mess up and it's accidental, you're, you could still get banned for years. <laughs> you know, and, and here, here we are. Um, so those are the messages that have been, you know, pounded in our head, and that they, they were true. So again, I, I really do feel like that this is a, a message. You saw it. You say swim, not you say swimming. We're not necessarily involved in, in that process, but that we're sending the world that hey, we, we take clean sports seriously. I would have preferred that this doesn't happen. <laughs> no, like, certainly, certainly not. Um, I, I, I think that. You know, there's going to be two sides of every coin, though, and um, you know, I, I think you, you talk to Madison and, and Lochte, and maybe get maybe they get their takes on it. But um, they they probably understand. We all understand how harsh USADA is now on on our American athletes. It would be nice if uh, the rest of the world kind of did the same thing, right? Felt that they were not there to protect their athletes, that they were there to govern their sport. Anyone else? All right. Thank you, Nathan. Cool. Appreciate it, guys.